All right, guys, welcome back to Control. We are getting into this in game a little bit. We our next uh, quest is the NSC control room, which we are nearby. Uh, oop, uh, I can't really show, uh, but just north and west of where we're at is the location of another object of power. I think that will give us the shield ability, the safe. Uh, so we're gonna hit the NSC control room on the way there, hopefully, and then hopefully we can. Um, hit up that safe object of power so we can get another power, uh, coincidentally enough. So, uh, on that note, thanks for joining me. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. I always, always do that. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thanks for, thanks for swinging by. Okay, so, uh, tab brings that up, and I'm basically pointing where I'm going to go. Now, I don't know if I recorded it or not, but... I actually experienced new enemies um, earlier. I don't remember where I was or. I'm getting a little. Oops, turned around. I guess I am going the correct direction. Right. Energy. Huh. Well, and let's see control room. It was over on the other side of the camp, over uh, yonder. Really recall. They were like these enemies that came and like floated up, got up all up in my face. Uh -oh. uh, hmm. Central maintenance. NSC. Where's the NSC control room? Energy converters. Maintenance. probably come back. I heard this pretty Metroidvania. I will come back once we can fly. Hmm. Just waiting to get ambushed. Hmm. Here a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> once we can, once we're no longer land bound. Hope you guys are having a happy, safe, fun, and prosperous new year. We are in, uh, let me just double check this little corner. I think this is getting posted probably at the end of January 2020. Shit, look at that. I see things moving around already. That's not good. Field training. Now, I mean, that's the direction I want to go for the safe, but I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go for the story. Energy convert. Is this where I'm supposed to... Oh, in the seat control room. There it is. Can I go through this door, then? Where does this take me? Yeah, see, that's where I was already. Okay. <laughs> if only they had a saw. Oh, yeah, they do. Cool. <laughs> so... Wait, what? And I see control room is two. Okay. Alright. I'm uh, just finishing up. Recording Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I'm not sure where this is when this is going to come out per se. Uh, getting my ass handed to me by Trilla, the ninth sister, <laughs> the very end. Um, yeah. So I'm like, well, I recorded like half a dozen episodes all back to back, and I got stuck there. I'm like, well, I'm good. 
think I got Star Wars through the end of January recorded. I need to get caught up on Control. I mean, I'm only this is only like episode probably dozen, number dozen, if that. And I see Control Room. Is that a direction? Is this open, though? Uh, oh, yeah, that's where we were. Okay. Everybody freeze! I always hear that whenever I, whenever I draw a gun in a game, I'm like, Everybody freeze! Nobody make a move! Uh-oh. Uh, gee, I wonder if I'm going to go where the big red light is. I went back and adjusted the brightness. They said the... Uh, I should be... Uh oh Yep. I knew it. Oh, shit! Sit down and shut up. Boom, headshot. Oh, shit. do that. Apparently I do that a lot. I've heard in my videos. I do apologize. It's still kind of newish at this. I did used to DJ back in the day, but that was many, many, many moons ago. Prior to working in mental health for over a decade. Uh, please and a thank you. I want new outfits, man. Come on. Hook sister up. Let's do this. To protect them. Hmm. Forces contain the lockdown. Must only be lifted by a directorial override. Uh-huh. This is what we came here to do. Here we go. A little bit more story. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege, to steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people. To protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old trembling hands. Hey. I had to lose everything before I could see the they just and I'm not that old. <laughs> Jesse's all like so there. No room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. <laughs> I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is huh. confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. So, okay. 
Yeah, so this, you know what this kind of reminds me of? It's like a little bit of like Ghostbusters. Like I gotta go through and cleanse all the points and things. Just kind of show you catch up. Uh, if you've missed any previous episodes, it's all the same gun, but it ch changes. So this is like the shotgun version, and I have uh, plus three projectiles. It's an uncommon. Just started getting some mods. Plus 15 flat damage, and then plus 44% against any enemy armor, and I think I was seeing that in that last battle, fortunately. And then I have uh, minus 10% on the energy cost, since I have a, I have like plus 6% pool, I think, or something, but I, I don't I think this is better, so. Be that as it may or may not be, let us clear the room out before we keep doing things. Make sure we got all the little hidden... Watch me who's easy to tell the awesome story in this wonderful game. That sector elevator. <laughs> okay, we're probably gonna go that way soon enough anyway. Don't need the health. And I'm gonna call that good. So we auto save. Let's uh, actually let's double check. I don't have any. Yeah, I don't have any ability point. Oh, okay. Got a new one. Incursion Hiss Rangers. Oh, collect reward. Oh, I... Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Common. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So we have... I still have yet to come across mold things. Demolition experts. I just need three. Those are the dudes that shoot the freaking RPGs. Charge maneuvers. I don't have charge mode. I think that's like sniper version eventually I get uh, getting without getting hit kill enemies in the executive sector where we are not launch tactics oh well, that, that should be show through them yeah I think this should be an easy one to do <laughs> oh wait no we got the huh did I Wait, what just happened? Oh, this just rotates? Huh. Interesting. What happened if I do this? Stimulation looks... Huh. So if I... Interesting. Hiss charged. In that case, let's see. I've already. I just got the Rangers. I don't. Hiss troopers. Kill enemies in shatter mode. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's. Uh, okay. So we still need to get over to. That's interesting. So they rotate around. Huh. So next time, if I finish this and I don't like something, maybe I'll switch these out. But actually, well, you know what? Let's abandon this one because I don't have any. Had that yet. Have that yet. Okay. Now what if we do that, then we abandon that? Okay, that's nice because we can't do that one yet. So that's... Okay. I have heads and noggins. That's funny. <laughs> His elevated. Uh, hmm. Headshot tactics. Kind of... Hmm. Let's try the headshot tactics. Let's continue doing that. Maintenance incursion. So just kill them. Five of which need to use shatter. Ten of which ideally headshots. Okie dokie. Right. Um, here we go. Oh, wow. So it's a key. So her weapon is a key. Huh. There's that inverted pyramid. I mean, I guess everyone's gonna rush the freaking room I'm in. Huh. That's it. Speak. The other sector should be open now. With Emily, huh? I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. 
Huh. I'll risk it. Okay. You two should get to know each other. What is that? Okay. Well. We have... Let's see. How do we get over here? So, um, not that. Yes. Please and thank you. Safe in the field training obstacle course. Okay. So that would be located... Meow. Okay. You know what? I think, well, it's a sector elevator. go. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Hmm. Okay, so we're here. Oops. So I want to go to the left. Uh, hmm. Oh, I thought. Hmm. That's five. Huh. Hey, don't you at uh -uh me. I'm not at uh -uh you. <laughs> huh. I don't know what this is all about. I think it's, oh, my bad. Book Club Lopez, unless you review by a CPT captain, I guess, Lopez. These days, most YA novels, I guess that's young adult novels, intertwine the coming-of-age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was actually, ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for YA. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That is a, that's a good soldier's death. I give this book three out of five. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that! I almost missed it, you guys. See, just when I think I'm being all thorough and whatevs. Okay, got a little more materials for stuff. Um, I think it's up this direction. I need me my objects of power. Hmm. Access corridor. Everybody freeze! Oh, there's the inverted pyramid again. Huh. Yes, you are apparently locked. Hmm. Well. Wait. Um. Nope. Not where I want. So let's follow the right wall, because what we want is that direction. So wherever the wall breaks, shall be. Okay, so we already tried this room. There's no way to get up, or gotta get up to get get down. Can't take the stairs or the ladders. We're following the right wall. Yep. Must be out this way. I do not know. Hmm. Just 
Let's see. Hmm. I am hiding and go sick and kucho. I will take your plant and throw it across the place. Like this. I hate your plant. Just stupido. Little stupido. Uh, I wonder, wait, I wonder if that's on the same floor as where I'm at. And wait, oh, whoa, how the hell did I end up over here? Well, that was, yeah, I must have to go to a different floor. Yeah, there doesn't have danger written all over it. Um... No, this definitely is not the way to where I need to go. Where the hell is the damn... Hmm. Probably on that first floor, I would imagine. Hmm. Still don't know enough about all of this. Okay, so I, I think I was originally coming towards it anyway, and it might still be one more up. Yeah. Oh, dang it! I always do that. Uh, I think where we want to go is gonna be up around here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yep, that's where we want to go. Alright, let's get all of these little goodies real quick. Hmm. Finish these before. Wow. What the? Think about a difference in quality of bathrooms. Did you guys hear that? I need to check all the stalls. No. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go do this. Hopefully I don't die too much. Too many times. They're just going to teleport in, aren't they? Slam the doors behind me and just gonna teleport in. No? Not yet at any rate. This game, you guys. Examination of Paranatural Topics Threshold. Summary. Oh, here we go. Is this what I just got? Summary. The oldest house is a place in flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a blank frequency different from our own. When those, frequency, when those frequencies match, the threshold will manifest on the oldest house, which acts as a blank. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes or possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. Eventually their frequencies will shift. Some believe Earth itself is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes blank, and those who learn of it so is actively denied. <laughs> Refer to file blank 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 for full report. <laughs> Causes insanity. Take a look and see what we got before we enter a fray. Let us, uh, what is this? Oh, damage just flat up. Okay, so we will be <laughs> replacing the plus 15% with the plus 22%. And we will be taking the. I wonder if I can. Hmm. What if I can can I equip that on this this one? Huh. If 
If not, there's no point in keeping it. If not. Uh, what? Oh, I can! <laughs> Plus 36... 37%? Yeah. I'll take it. That's not too shabby. Let's see what we got here. That's good to know, too, by the way. Okay, so I'm at minus 10%, and this is another minus 10%. Now, again, I might just want to stack these, so I am maybe going to keep a couple. That's huge, though, like... <laughs> 22 and 15. Well, I guess it's only... It's an extra 50%, nearly 15 to 22. Uh, I kind of just feel like... Though, the armor might be better. Let's see. Accuracy. Damage while low on health. Headshot damage. Shatter, spin, spin, shatter. Hmm... Rate of fire is fine. I can rate maybe maybe on a shoddy or something. Damage against MER. Maybe I will do that after all. Okay. Black rock processing. Okay. See. So, yeah. Whoa. Dang it. <laughs> I'm forever do that. Sorry, guys. Uh. So. Field training. Okay. Yep. So we need to go. This away. Yep. And again. Well, at least it's saving. Okay, here we go. Maybe. This way first. Hmm. It's just in the elevator, right? Yeah. And this just. Oh! Okay, this goes a lot, all sorts of places. Re okay, this goes a lot. Yeah. Executive research maintenance. maintenance acts. Huh. Well, I guess we will go back and talk to Emily, since apparently we can't do this, I guess. Yeah, 10 field training, that's where we're at. Just in front of central maintenance. Dang it, I really wanted to... Uh, Get our next power. Black rocks. Yeah, oh well. Well, let's uh, head on back then. I guess, actually, you know what? We could cover some new ground. We could still go to the same... Are we on the same floor? Oh, let's track. Let's just retrace our steps for now. Let's get to a... Fast travel. Oh, shit! I did not expect that. <laughs> but, that's good. We'll get a little fight in. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I think I had... I think I have, uh... Wait, where was the... Board? Oh, yeah. So, headshot. Oh, using Pierce. I don't have Pierce. Oh, whatever. Uh, shadow maintenance sec. Oh, I thought I had the flying, the flying dudes. I guess not. Oh well. Wait, did I just hallucinate? I swear, people just came to life, or did they disappear when I went around the corner? Did it? Yeah, that's what I thought! Whoa, 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 whoa. See? That's what I thought. And then I come over here. You 
you guys bugger off. Huh. Well, good to know where I can farm XP. <laughs> let's uh let's come on back over. Uh wait. Wait, I'm turned around. Am I one too far? Must have gone one too far. It's crazy, they're like literally right there. <laughs> they're like, no, you're too close to your special area. <laughs> uh, we need to go there. Can we? Oh, oh no, we're right, th we are right there. <laughs> My bad. Uh, we want to go back to... Please. I don't think I've actually done fast traveling yet, so... Hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to learn. What it says is uh, when my it when either one runs out to switch to the other one. So if my energy runs out to switch to the service weapon, if my service weapon runs out, then to switch to my abilities, start launching things, or at least take off or something. You know, grab a second, uh, which it's not a bad idea actually. I'm always a fan of. Uh, Recharging infinite ammo weapons. A little OP, but I'm fine with that. <laughs> I actually have a, an ability to mod uh, weapons in another game I play uh, just for myself online. Warframe, I talk about it every once in a while. There's a mod you can put on it where it automatically regenerates the ammo. In a way, it can be worse because sometimes it can take longer to regenerate a full clip of ammo than it might be just to reload, but knowing that I just have endless ammo for forever and ever, no matter how long the mission is or where I'm at or whatevs, or how many clips it takes to finish off a guy, I can just like, I just, you know, need to kind of use an ability or dodge roll out of the way or create some space or reposition or whatever, whatever the case may be. Okay, so I'm starting to get down the geography. Sector elevator's ahead. So we probably could have taken that, maybe, but yeah, regardless. So we're going to be doing the boardroom. Talk to Emily. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Please. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Huh. Came through. That's all she gets. <laughs> the rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being. His name was Bob. What kind of being? <laughs> it's hard to describe, <laughs> but it... She helped us. Oh, we that's managed it to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case <laughs> files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling 
were both involved. Huh. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. <laughs> She's been with me ever since ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Huh. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes, but one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. Yeah. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So... Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. <laughs> I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Nice. <laughs> That's how you level up. Clearance level three. Marshall is the next step. Uh -huh. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Not creepy at all. Ooh. Four, four ability points. <laughs> Please and thank you. I will take them and love them as my own. Huh. Okay. Let's uh see if there's anything else more she has Hi, to Jesse. share. Yes. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. So research. Could be hiding in any one of them. I checked myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. Yeah. Well, he didn't let you yeah. in his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. Saucer of milk. I mean, this whole place table is volatile for one. material. <laughs> Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? Have I unlocked a new side mission? No, I guess not. Okay. This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? That's all? It's true. <laughs> I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. Whoops. It was a tiger shark. Darling's pet research project. Huh. I forget what he was researching. How do people work here? Right. <laughs> you said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodology, sometimes entirely new fields of science. And hmm. she really loves her job. Right. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the bureau, including the science, is without precedent. It's one of the reasons why I like psychology so much is the field as a whole, I mean, was just starting at the, at the turn of the 1900, so like not even two centuries old, really. It's a very new field. 
What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? But we know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Huh. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. Hmm, interesting. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first hmm. page before he turned it down. <laughs> right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? Uh, no, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because I just did because that. Because that's how they work for me. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> oh my god. More tests. No. Let's hold on right. on the tests until later, okay? <laughs> Chill out a little bit. Chillax. Okay. Chillax. No, it's just... Wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I You're love it. welcome. I'm sorry. What? Something? <laughs> huh. See you soon. I like the Be way they're out there. kind of integrating with some of the game mechanics into into, th into things. It's like, yeah, because I can teleport around and from control point to control point. Y'all can't do that? That's just a me thing. Oh, okay. Bring huh. me back anything good. I don't know. Just making sure there's nothing extra. Nope. Okay. See you soon. Be careful out there. Alrighty. So, uh, we... I'm gonna go see what we can level up. We're gonna call it a extra juicy, extra full episode. Abilities, board cat. You know what? I want to. Let's see what other outfits she does. It only has that one, huh? What happens if I? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Board countermeasures. So here's what I want to do. Enemies in the maintenance sector. I mean, I don't know if I'm going back there. I need to use and learn the shatter. Uh, but pierce. I missed that part. I have to use pierce. I don't have that one. So, uh, Without getting hit. Kill enemies. Things I could have says. Oh, without getting hit. Yikes. Okay. Uh, hiss elevated. Hmm. Kill hiss elevated. Oh, using spin. Yeah, see, these are the ones I need to know it too. Uh, using them without getting hit. I think... Yes. That's the one I thought we had already. So. Oh, and it says the... Oh, that's something else. Okay, so... That's an uncommon mod is what it rewards. As does that. These, however, are not. Okay, so... Three elevated... Five enemies. That's not a big deal. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, let's do this. What else? So we have four. I mean, I really kind of feel like I should just be like a kathunk. Um, eh, I'm not using melee a ton. 25% to launch damage. 50% to launch damage. Let's see, that's two... And, oh, that's three, though. Oof. I was like, oh, I can just do that. One, two. Uh, hmm. That's 20% to health. For three. Hmm. I think... Those are three each. I think what I'll do is I'll do this one. And then know that when I get one more point, I'm probably going to go there. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, because I need to... Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. Here's launch grenades and rockets back at the enemy. Oh, hells yeah. Okay, so I'm glad I went there. That's good. Okay, so this branch is off. So there's one, two, three more things that branch off. I know shield's going to be one of them. Hmm. Okay. So we still have two points. Er. Oh. I still have two points. I can get this. Launch grenades and rockets back. But then I wonder if I should get this and maybe get something even cooler. Hmm. Huh. That's tempting. I think I'm going to hold off for now. I really want to just... Because there's no... <laughs> the way I've learned is uh, if you're playing a game and you can't... Don't have a difficulty uh, slider, then the way you do it is you just max out your health as quick as possible and just you know get, just focus on your defense so you survive so you can get all the, all the other fun things. But not at the expense of everything. So just mostly so i think uh, yeah one more point let's go there and then we can start branching off a little bit although that last one that's a huge bar that last bar so we may have to do that one too but regardless um thanks again for swinging by i hope you guys are enjoying the game and the playthrough and the story if you are do me a huge favor hit that like button or don't if you didn't totally totally fine just uh, appreciate sharing this with you uh subscription and uh, hitting that bell icon also help my channel out but again i'm just glad to share the journey with you guys and i hope to see you next time hope you guys have a very beautiful day and until then take care Bye bye